Hi and welcome to another unboxing video and this will be the Steel Series Rival 300 series. I did have the Myonix Castor uh, but it didn't really fit my hand so I changed it to this. So um, I've been trying it out for about six months now. And so this is actually already open. <laughs> you can actually see the mouse and the mouse mat which is the Steel Series. QCK XXL. So before we start, I'm just gonna say that I'm um, currently using the Gunner Optics it's, uh, computer glasses, I think. I'm not sure which one this is, if it's like the gaming edition. Uh, I got this as a birthday present. So um, yeah, I just want to be able to go back to this video and show that I actually tested them. So I'm gonna make a video about this uh, Gunner, Gunner or Gunnar gaming glasses later on. Anyway, without further ado, here is the unboxing. Okay, so I recently purchased uh, my Onyx Castor and uh, it didn't fit my hand so I had to return that and instead I bought a SteelSeries Rival optical mouse. And uh, I hope this one is a lot better. Uh, it should be an RGB mouse. Probably see that here. I can't really see the camera by the way, so hope this actually comes out <laughs> all right. I also purchased uh, the mouse map, the Steel Series XXL, and we're gonna have a look at that as well. But first, let's open the mouse. And I'm not really that interested in the box if you want to have a look at it here, basically this. So some features. And I did like this. This is just two settings on the on the DJI. So it's very easy to set <coughs> to switch between. So I did try the a Razer Black Adder as well, but uh, that didn't really fit my hand either. There we go, okay. There we go. Uh, I hope I didn't break it too much. A uh, little plastic cover. I don't see anything else in the box, so... Um, this is basically it. Here are the instructions. I'm not sure if you can see that. Uh, it's just it says plug and play. Uh, okay, it's a couple of transparent white stickers. <laughs> you won't be able to see that actually. It's still kind of pulls down here. This is uh, where I have the problem. Uh, but uh, this is a lot better than the last one so uh, it's still not that far off from the, the black adder though. It still pulls on the finger there. But uh, buttons are easy to get to. DP switch is not in the way. Yeah, you can't really click it uh, by mistake. You can click it like this though. I'm really looking forward to this because my mouse mat sucks. It's one of those like one dollar mouse mats and it's really old. It's probably like five years old. Yeah, I really like the, the complicated packaging on this, on this one. Oh! This is the back. It has this little uh, Steel Series logo and uh, some more stickers. All right. So this is a massive. You can probably see it. A massive mouse mat. And uh, it's got the logo here on the edge. I was a little bit afraid about the edges, but they're not stitched. I like that. A lot easier to, to dust off. This is the QCK XXL gaming mousepad. 
it's 90 centimeters times 40 centimeters, so 90, 40. And here it is with the mouse. So I'm gonna plug in the mouse and have a look at that. Here it is plugged in. Uh, this is the default setting, apparently. It's a pulsing uh, orange color. And uh, you don't really see any of that, but uh, I like it actually, but I'm gonna change it to blue. Oh, nice. That's a nice blue color. And I'm going to go with the same color, I think. I wonder if we can cut and paste this. Feels good. Got a pretty nice way to it. So this is 800. Is this the, the sensitivity? Yeah, so it wasn't at 800. And I think 800 was like perfect for me. Can I set it manually, maybe? Yeah, nice. Yeah, there's a noticeable difference, but I want the second setting to be a lot slower for sniping. Yeah, oh, this is really nice. I can tell that this is going to be uh, probably the mouse for me. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try it in some games soon here, but uh, I want to say that on this mouse mat, it, it goes really, really smooth. I, I really love this this mouse mat already, and uh, yeah, I like the texture of it. It feels it feels soft and nice. So I've had um, the rival for about six months now and I'm, I'm gonna say that I'm really happy with it. It really fits in my hand. It's very comfortable uh, comfortable to hold. It's um, I think that the sensor is a little a tiny little bit less sensitive than the Myonix Castor. I thought that the sensor in that one was probably better. At least it felt like that but it was quite some time since I tested that now but uh, yeah I remember that I felt that uh, the Myonic uh, Castor sensor was probably better, but uh, I couldn't really hold that. So this is a personal preference. If you do have a um, problem holding the Myonix Castor or the Razer Blackadder, then I can really recommend this one because this uh, it fits my hand really good. Even though it's gone six months and I've used this a lot, I can't feel any quality loss on the buttons. They're working just as new. And since it doesn't have that many buttons, it's not really great for games like World of Warcraft and MMOs, but for games like um, Overwatch, The Division, Battlefront, in those games in this works great, you don't need that many buttons, and uh, yeah, it's just perfect for that. It's very easy to, to get to the buttons and click them, even the DPI switch. And uh, I really like that one. Being able to switch between two different sensitivities is great. However, I'm gonna say that I don't use them that often. I don't actually use the buttons on the side that often either. The mouse math, uh, it feels great to the hand. I did try the Myonix mouse math, but I didn't like how it felt. And since it's, um, it's important to me that it felt great and this one is... I love it. But it does catch a lot of dust. You can wash it, I've done that, but it kind of catches dust pretty fast again. But <laughs> as you can see, also the mouse, it, this is after half a year of usage. So it's time to clean that as well. So yeah, that was my unboxing and brief review of the Steel Series Rival and the QCK uh, XXL mouse math. Anyway, if you like this video, leave me a thumbs up, and if you want to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.